Hey everyone, it is me Maddie aka Dollspire and welcome back to another video! So in this video, I will be ranking every single Monster High SDCC doll. Number 11, Ghostbusters Frankenstein. This was the last ever SDCC Monster High doll that was released before G3 was announced. This doll was a part of the G2 reboot, so that's why she's obviously the lowest on my list, because personally, I hate the G2 reboot. This doll just felt so lackluster to me, and she wasn't even that detailed, so it didn't feel like a Comic-Con doll. And that's why she's in number 11. Number 10, Rebecca and Hexakaya. So you may think that I don't like these dolls because they are so low on the list, but I actually really like these dolls. The thing is that I never find myself drawn to these dolls. I would like to get these dolls someday because I love Freaky Fusion, so it's kind of fun to see Hexakaya get a doll, but I just don't feel a connection to these dolls. This is also the last SCCC G1 pack ever released. Number 9, Scara and Hoodood. These dolls were released in 2012, and I personally really like them. I think this is a really fun pack with Scara and Hoodoo since they're both background characters, but I would like for Scara to be a little bit more deluxe since this is a SDC doll and they are like super expensive. Do you guys remember the Fang Vote program that was released with Rochelle and it came out during 2023? Well, that isn't actually as new as you might think it is. Back in 2011, Monster High fans could vote for the next SDCC doll they wanted. You could choose between Scara Screams, Wydona Spider, and Hedemistress Bloodgood. At first, the people chose Scara Screams. Then later on, Wydona Spider was also made as an SDCC doll. And then, in 2013, Hedemistress Bloodgood was also released as a buyable doll. But also, how cool doesn't this Scara doll look? She has a jacket on and a completely different head mold. She's wearing Frankie Stein's head mold for the prototype of this Scara doll. Also, can we talk about how wild this Fang Vote Rochelle doll is? Like, she was released in early 2023, but no one has even gotten their hands on this doll yet, because the doll said ship in February of 2024, which is in a month. The closest thing we've seen on this doll in real life is her box, which recently got released. But the doll looks completely different in real life than it did in the stock photos. Number 8. Black and White Frankie Voltages Doll so this is one of the most recent SDCC dolls as of right now. And I think this doll is really cool, since she is a remake of the 2010 Frankie, which was a black and white, and the Power Girls Frankie. And that's also the reason why she's so low on my list, because she just felt so copied. She just didn't feel original. So that's why she is number 8. Number 7. Gulia and Cleo 2-pack. These dolls were released in 2017, so technically these are the last ever Monster High SDCC dolls, but these dolls were also available at MattelCreations.com. So these dolls were technically the last SDCC dolls, but the first Skelector dolls. So Cleo and Gulia was the end of an era, but they were also the start of a new era. These dolls are super cute, in my opinion, and I would love to get them someday, but today it's not that day, because they're super expensive. Number 6, Black and White Frankie Stein. Now this doll is a classic, and I love her so much. Though the reason that she's so far down on the list is because she's just a recolored version of the basic doll. Like, I love her and she's iconic, but I don't think she's that creative. Don't hate me. Number 5, Comic Con Gulia. Now this doll is fabulous, and I love her so much, and I would love to get her one day. It's just that I do prefer other dolls over her. I would so get her if she was like $200 on eBay. It's just that she doesn't you should go for that. Number four, Manny Tor and Iris Clops. Now, I love these two. These are so iconic, and I love them as characters. And these, I just need to get. Like, they're just so iconic. Cupid's Corner got these dolls about a year ago, and when I was at her place, I just fell in love with them. I wasn't really that big of a fan of these dolls before that, but when she got them, I started loving them, and when I saw them in person. Number three, Freak Do Chic Draculaura. Now, this is the latest SECC doll, and I just love her so much. Like, I was at Mattel Creations the day she got released least and i was going to buy her but then it said that she would get to my house in november and she was released in july and i was like girl that is not making no sense so i decided to not get her though she is beautiful nonetheless 
Number two, Wydona Spider. Noba, when I tell you she's stunning, she's stunning. I do own the I Love Fashion Wydona Spider and I love her, but I bet that the SCC one is 10 times better. Number one, Wisp and Valentine. Now, when I tell you I love these dolls, I love these dolls. Now, I've been trying to get these dolls since the day they came out. Now, I live in Sweden, so I don't have the privilege to go to San Diego Comic Con because it's super duper expensive for me. 13 Wishes has always been my favorite Monster High movie, and I love Wisp as a character, so I really hope that I can get these dolls one day. But sadly, like all the other STCC dolls, these go for super high prices on eBay. But yeah, that was it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment something fun, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!